Hi everyone and welcome back to my second Valentine's Day look of the week. Yesterday was all about soft pink eyes and neutral lips and today I wanted to vamp things up a bit so I've gone for those classic gold eyes and dark red vampy lips. Of course I'm still using the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette, I can't get enough of this palette, it's beautiful and so appropriate for Valentine's Day. The first shade I'm going into is Divinity and I'm just going to place this all over that lid just to set my primer and the primer I used today of course is the Max Painterly Paint Pot. Once I've set that primer, I'm going into Pecan Praline and I'm going to be using this as my transition shade. To warm things up a bit more in that crease area, I'm just going into this shade here called Mocha and I'm just going to blend this through that crease in with a Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'm just working in small circular motions. To darken things up even more, I'm going into this beautiful burgundy shade here called Bordeaux and I'm going to place this right into my socket line, I don't want to really take this any further up than that and this is just going to help add depth. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to swap over to a clean blending brush and blend everything out. Now I'm applying dark truffle to the outer half of my eyelid and I'm using a base shadow brush from Real Techniques, the same one I used in the crease. I've just wiped it off in between applications and this is just to help save on using so many brushes. I'm then going to apply molasses chip to the rest of my eyelid. This shade is just stunning, it's one of my favourites in the palette. And I'm just going to meet that up with dark truffle and then I'm going to blend the two together. And once again I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and make sure everything is nice and blended and there are no harsh lines. I've gone for a matte highlight on the brow bone again today because we've gone quite shimmery on the lid. So I'm just going back into that Divinity shade and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone area. So we are of course going to add a shimmery highlight to those inner corners and to do that I'm going to use this shade here called Satin Sheets. I'm then going to apply some gel liner and I'm just going to create a small wing and quite a thin line. I don't want it to be anything super dramatic. Once the eyeliner is complete, I'm then going to move on to my lower lash line. So I'm just going to apply Dark Truffle with a Sigma E30 pencil brush on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then I'm swapping over to a Real Techniques detailer brush and I'm just going to apply Molasses Chip to those inner corners, meeting up to Dark Truffle. All that's left to do now is to apply some eyeliner to my waterline and tightline and then apply a few coats of mascara to my lashes. And the mascara that I'm using today is of course a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm contouring today with my NYX blush in taupe and I'm just using the Real Techniques 301 flat contour brush to do this. If you'd like to see a review for this brush, I will link it down below. It's a really, really awesome brush. I'm just contouring all the usual places. I'm carving out my cheekbones and taking this up around my temples as well and a little bit on my forehead. I do want this to be quite a glowy look so I've gone for Collections Gorgeous Glow Blush Block and basically I just swirl my brush in all these, all these colours and apply them to my cheeks. You can get away with not wearing highlighter because this is quite a glowy blush. It's not super super glittery or anything, it just adds a nice shimmer to the cheeks. I am of course going to add highlighter and it's going to be the Balm's Mary Luminizer. 
and I'm just taking a Real Techniques setting brush and applying that to all the usual areas of my face, just on the top of my cheekbones, in that C shape, above my brow, arches of my brows, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I'm then just going to tap this powder brush all across my face to make sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm moving on to the lips. And I'm using this high voltage lipstick from NYX and this is in the shade Feline. Unfortunately, I misplaced my dark red lip liner, but I do recommend lining your lips with these lipsticks because they do move about a bit and they are quite creamy. For extra shine and glossiness, I'm then going to apply NYX's Devil Food Cake Butter Gloss over the top. And once that's applied, that is my second Valentine's Day look complete. I really hope you like this look. Please don't forget to check out yesterday's video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.